This video explains how to add a main title to a Venn diagram using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the first example, I will show you how to add a main title to a Venn diagram created by the Venn diagram package. So for this, we first need to install and load the Venn diagram package, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 3 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the draw.pairwise.ven function, as you can see in lines 5 to 7 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a new Venn diagram is appearing. However, you can also see that at this point no main title is shown in the Venn diagram. So in order to add a main title to this Venn diagram, we have to install and load the grid extra package, as you can see in lines 9 and 10 of the code. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the grid.arrange function, as you can see in lines 12 to 14. And in this function, I'm using the gtree function to specify the name of our Venn diagram that we have created before. And then I'm specifying that I want to add a main title at the top of our plot, which is called my main title, and a subtitle at the bottom of our plot. So if you run lines 12 to 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And as you can see, this time we have added a main title at the top of our plot and a subtitle below our plot. In the next example, I want to show you how to draw a Venn diagram with titles using the ggplot2 package. And for this, we first need to create a data frame that we can draw in our Venn diagram. And we can do that, as you can see, in lines 16 to 19 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data Venn. And we can print the head of this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 20 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing three columns. The value column is showing the values in our Venn diagram. And then we have two other columns, A and B, which show the relationships between our circles in the Venn diagram. In order to draw a ggplot2 Venn diagram, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 and ggven packages, as you can see in lines 22 to 26 of the code. I have installed these packages as well, so for that reason I'm just going to load them with line 23 and line 26. So after running these lines of code, we can create a ggplot2 Venn diagram, as you can see in lines 28 to 30 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right by running line 31 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a ggplot2 Venn diagram showing our two circles A and B and the corresponding values between these circles. However, you can also see at this point we have not added a title to our plot and we can do that as you can see in lines 33 to 34 of the code. So in these lines of code I'm using the plot object that I have created before, the ggp plot object. And then I'm adding to this the gg title function. And within this function, I'm specifying a character string, which is containing our title. So in this case, I want to add a main title, which is called my main title. So if you run lines 33 and 34 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot has been updated. And now our plot is shown with a main title. In the third example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to draw a Venn diagram with main title using the Venn Euler package. So for this, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 36 and 37. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 37 of the code. And then in the next step, we can use the code that you can see in lines 39 to 41 to draw a Venn diagram at the bottom right. And you can also see that this Venn diagram does not contain any titles. So if you want to draw a main title to this plot, we can use the code that you can see in lines 43 to 46. So in these lines of code, I'm using the same syntax as before. However, in this case, I'm also using the main argument to specify a main title. So if you run lines 43 to 46 of the code, you can see that a main title is added to our Venn diagram. 
That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.